Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you how to uh, remove and replace the front brakes. I uh, found that this car actually has fairly new front brakes on it, so we're not actually putting new parts on it. Just showing you how to take them off and put them back together correctly. This process is the same for all 2000 and 2005 Impalas, um, and it's similar for a whole bunch of different cars that have front disc brakes. Uh, flat blade screwdriver, a large size, 15 millimeter, 19 millimeter socket and ratchet, which obviously can uh, be different per vehicle. Um, a breaker bar, a pipe, you might need that, that for leverage, and a torque wrench to get it back together correctly. Okay, first use a screwdriver to remove the center cap. This car has uh, aluminum wheels. If you have a hubcap, it might be a little different. Okay, now um, you may need to use a wrench. Loosen up your lug nuts first while your wheel's on the ground, then raise and support your car, and always follow the instructions of the jack and jack stands. To jack a car, you can either place a jack, or that's a place to place your jack stand. Um, you can also jack uh, right up here under the subframe where the two um, beams meet. Okay, so I have the uh, fortune of having air tools, so I'm going to use them. So we'll just remove the wheel here. Okay, now you can just grab on. You can also use, just turn the steering wheel. Turn your wheels so you can access the brakes easily. Okay, to remove the calipers, you're going to remove two 15 millimeter bolts, one down there and one right up there. Okay, before you do that, you can take a screwdriver or a large pry bar and put it in this hole. Uh, if your brakes are worn down more than on this car, you might have to use more angle. But then you pry out, and that helps to push your piston down into the caliper and makes it easier to get the caliper off. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to remove those uh, two bolts. And they shouldn't be too tight. They're usually tightened up to about 50, 50 to 60 foot-pounds. And we're going to speed it up here. Okay, and now depending on how much you push the piston back in, you can pull the caliper up and off. Um, have a screwdriver handy, as I now appear with one, and just use a screwdriver to pry off the caliper. Um, put it up top for now. Be careful not to stress your uh, line. And then the brake pads um, just come right off. Uh, they just pry right out of the caliper bracket. Now that caliper bracket, uh, this actually, this car has new brakes on it. I'm just doing this as a, to kind of show you. But to remove the hub, you remove the caliper bracket by removing those two bolts. And those are, again are 15 millimeter bolts. Okay, and you can't quite see it, but I did secure my caliper up top with a wire tie. And now I'm going to use my ratchet and a big piece of pipe. That pipe helps me get leverage. Okay, and I'm just going to pull nice and easy until I just keep applying pressure until that bolt breaks loose. Okay, get it going some, and then I'll do the same thing up top. I'll pull, keep continuing to add torque until it breaks loose and get it going. And then I'll drop my pipe and uh, just use my air tools to zip them out the rest of the way. Okay, and now my caliper bracket comes up and off. And then your uh, rotor just comes right off like that. Now here, obviously, the rotor just goes right back onto the hub. And then I'll hit fast forward. I just use a lug nut to um, hold the hub in place while I put the brakes together. OK, we'll grab our bolts and get the large 15 millimeter uh, bolts and put the caliper bracket on. Okay, and here's just a view from the front, so you can see the caliper uh, goes on the opposite side of the uh, steering knuckle, closer to the rotor, and then the bolts go into it.
Okay, and now we want to uh, get those tightened and then tighten them up to 90 foot-pounds using a torque wrench. Okay, uh, on the uh, caliper brackets are stainless steel clips that just kind of, well, they're slides. They kind of pull off, and then you want to use a wire brush and just clean those up. Uh, those are what the uh, calipers slide back and forth in. And then once you uh, clean them up with the brush, you can clip them back on. Um, obviously, this could be done with the caliper bracket off, but if you're just replacing your pads, you want to do it this way. Okay, now take your pads, and they basically just uh, slide right into those clips. Okay, there's the front side. You kind of put them down into one side first, then slide them into the other side. And then I'll put the back side in. Okay, now you want to pull your caliper down and uh, use a large C-clamp. And what I'm doing is forcing um, the piston all the way back into the caliper. Okay, so as you slow it back down here, you can see uh, that piston where the clamp is pushing in is going back into the caliper. And you do this uh, to kind of reset it. It lets you put your brake pads on, or lets you get the caliper down onto the brake pads very easily. And it's very important that when you put your vehicle all back together before you drive it out on the road, you want to pump your brakes about four or five times. That um, allows that piston to work its way back out to the proper place. Um, so, you know, you want to make sure you pump your brakes, make sure it holds the car in, in gear, and then do a stop from like five miles an hour and ten miles an hour. Uh, make sure the brakes are working before you drive it on the road. Okay, now you can put your caliper down onto your pads. Just going to put that clamp down. And there's little the little boots um, that are on the caliper bracket. Just kind of you squeeze those down as you put the caliper onto the bracket. Uh, then you grab your long bolts. Um, these are pretty clean and well lubricated. What you want to do is make sure you clean them off a little bit put some grease on them, uh, just a little bit sparing amount. Uh, they should slide in nicely. You might have to just kind of move those rubber boots around a little bit and work them in and then start them by hand. Okay, we'll fast forward as we're just putting those um, those two caliper bolts on. Okay, and now slow back down here. Um, we're using a torque wrench and we're going to torque these bolts up to 50 foot-pounds. Okay, back to fast forward here as we finish up torquing up those bolts. Uh, once those are done, then you'll want to remove that lug nut that's holding the rotor. Um, and then you'll spin your wheels straight uh, so it makes it easier to get the tire back on. Okay, so now we'll put the uh, wheel back on. And you want to start all the lug nuts by hand so you don't cross thread them. And then use um, your wrench or even just by hand. Uh, you just want to get the lug nuts preliminarily tightened up uh, just so they kind of hold the wheel in place and then you'll torque them after you let the car down back onto the ground. Back on the ground, we're going to torque our lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds. You see I'm using a star pattern, basically drawing a star as I torque the lug nuts. Okay, okay. and now we'll install our cap. And again, a very important note, make sure whenever you do work on your brakes, get in your car, pump them a bunch of times first, uh, make sure the pedal goes solid again, then do a stop from like 5 miles an hour and 10 miles an hour before you go out on the road. Make sure your brakes are working properly. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.